Janesville, are you ready to shake things up in Washington and Columbus? Well, it's time to do it. It's time to turn things around. Dave Yost, thank you very much. Dave will be a terrific auditor. He's a prosecutor now. He's been an auditor. He knows how to keep people's feet to the fire. And don't we need someone who can root out waste, fraud, and abuse in government spending? Yes. Thank you, Dave, for uh, getting the crowd fired up, too, and talking a little about some of the problems going on in our state and in our country. And we've got serious problems, folks. Yes. We look at what's happening here in the state of Ohio today. We've not only lost 400,000 jobs in the last four years, we lost 17,000 jobs last month. I'm going to have to tell you that here in Los Kingdom County because you know about it. And you know those are 17,000 families, not statistics. And some of those families are here with us today at the fairgrounds. And some of them are people you know, may live down the street, maybe somebody you used to work with. We have a responsibility, don't we, folks, to help get those people back to work, to get this economy moving again. And that's what this election's about. It's not just another election. As important as it is for us to elect all these people behind me and, and the good folks who are here, and Troy and Jimmy doing a terrific job for you in Columbus, and being sure that we elect the right people. This is not just about another election, it's about what we're going to do for the next generation. Are we, are we going to start turning things around now to be able to be sure our kids and grandkids can have the kind of future that we hope for them and that we've enjoyed? And I think unless we make some changes and make them pretty quickly, that's what's at risk. Think about it. Here in the state of Ohio, as I said, we continue to fall behind and we're not creating the kind of jobs and opportunities here. Instead, people are going to other states. Young people are coming to Ohio. They're then leaving, leaving Ohio to go to other states. It's a brain drain. We're losing some of our best and brightest. We're not able to retain the jobs that we have or create new jobs. It's going to take new leadership and new policies, and that's what we represent in this election. We are very fortunate to have at the head of the ticket here in Ohio a guy who hasn't just talked the talk during the campaign trail, but he's walked the walk. And that's John Kasich. Over the next three days, we're going to do everything we can to be sure that John Kasich and Mary Taylor can lead this ticket and lead Ohio back to prosperity. John has done it. He did it in Washington, D.C. I was at his side doing it, as was John Boehner, who's behind us today. He was the principal architect of a balanced budget. He helped on welfare reform to help people have the respect and dignity that comes with work. He encouraged getting power back to the states, not having the Washington unfunded mandates. These are all things we need to do again, don't we, folks? Yeah! John Kasich's done it, he can do it again, and he can do it for our state of Ohio. The Buckeye State needs him. We've got issues at the national level, too, don't we? Yes. Oh, boy, do we. We now have a national debt that is not just the biggest in our lifetimes, but it's scheduled, if you look at the projections from this administration and this Congress, it's scheduled to double, probably in the next five or six years, triple in the next 10 or 12 years. Uh, this is scary stuff. And it's not just about hurting today's economy, which it does. It makes, it's a drag on the economy. It makes it more difficult for us to create jobs and opportunities in this great country. But it is immoral to do to future generations because they get left, don't they? Holding the bag. That's not fair. That's why this election is so important. And then the job-killing legislation that continues to come from Washington. Think about it. The health care legislation is keeping us from creating jobs here in Ohio because it's raising the costs of health care for small business people. I've been talking to a lot of them in all 88 counties of Ohio, and I can tell you they're not creating jobs in part because of the new big government health care legislation. We need to turn that around. We need to repeal it and replace it with something that makes sense. To get costs down and help people get coverage and help us create jobs here in Ohio and around the country. The taxes. I mean, unbelievably, this administration, this Congress, believes we should be raising taxes now. And at year end, they're scheduled to go up. As you're trying to climb out of a recession, folks, it's not the right time to raise taxes, is it? We need to be sure we're providing small businesses instead with incentives to hire more people by providing them tax relief. It's a different philosophy. It's a different philosophy. The cap-and-trade legislation you've heard a lot about, and I've seen a guy driving around 
Muskingum County today with a trailer. And I don't know who this guy is, but he is everywhere. And it shows a picture of your opponent and with Nancy Pelosi. And it says something like, look how they voted and think about how we're going to vote. Right? I don't know who this guy is, but he deserves an award. And I've seen him in five different places in the last couple hours in Muskingum County. Oh, there he is. All right, raise your hand. <laughs> but here's the deal. The cap and trade energy tax would be terrible for our great state and really bad for eastern and southeastern Ohio. Why? Because it taxes coal. And it taxes manufacturing. And it taxes, therefore, our families and our job creation. There's a study out showing we would lose 100,000 jobs in Ohio if cap and trade were passed by the Senate that's already passed the House. Can we afford to lose another 100,000 jobs here in the state of Ohio? No, we can't. Here's the good news. On spending, on taxes, on health care, on cap and trade and energy, there's a better way. On all these issues. And that's what's exciting about this election to me. We're not just talking about what's wrong. We're talking about a better way to get American families and Ohio families back on track, to get our economy back on track, to help small businesses, providing tax relief. In energy, think of the opportunities that we've got here in the state of Ohio. We've got natural gas under the ground here. A huge new shale find that includes not just Pennsylvania, West Virginia, but also Ohio, that enables us to get less dependent on foreign oil, enables us to have cleaner energy, and to create jobs right here in Ohio. Doesn't that make sense? Let's do it. Let's do it. We've got a better way, but we need leadership. And we need to have a good day on Tuesday yeah. in order to promote that agenda, don't we? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, here's the good news in that regard. We have got in this district a candidate for the United States Congress who will not only represent the district well because he knows it and has lived it, but also will be able to help to make John Boehner the Speaker of the House of Representatives. If you've been watching John Boehner over the last several months as this election has progressed, I think what you'll see is a guy who's dead serious. Not just about winning an election, but he's dead serious about helping the people. Helping turn things around to create jobs and opportunity by promoting policies that make sense for our economy, for our small businesses, for Muskingum County, for the state of Ohio. John Boehner is going to be a terrific speaker because he's a guy who understands that we need to take Ohio common sense to Washington, D.C. It'll be a great day for Ohio and a great day for America if we have a good day on Tuesday. I'd now like for you all to let me introduce the next congressman from the 18th District. His name is Bob Gibbs. Many of you know him well. Some of you may not know that before he got involved in politics, he was a farmer, small business owner, as he is now, but he was also president of the Ohio Farm Bureau. Now, that's pretty good background, don't you think? Yeah. Our agriculture economy is the number one industry in Ohio, the number one industry in this county. It's incredibly important that our small business owners, who are also farmers, get the kind of help they need. He knows how to do it because he's been there and done that. Second, he has distinguished himself in Columbus eight years in the legislature as a state representative and now a state senator. He's a guy with integrity and a guy who I'm very proud to stand next to today and stand next to in this election. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the next congressman, Bob Gibson. Yeah. 